screen visible, ma? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, followed by the topic of binary search tree uh, under uh, second unit in the subject uh, CP5151 Advanced Data Structure and Algorithm. And the topic of uh, discussion is uh, B tree. So, the name B stands for balanced and it is a tree data structure utilized in external memory like uh, hard disk, pen drive and our portable uh, drive like that. So what is this uh, tree is saying about us? There is a tree called the MVSS tree. Uh, when you call about the binary search tree, the number of ways are two way, only two way, either left side or right side. So if it is uh, M way, you have many ways, you have many ways, but for one node, you have only two way, but on the whole, if you take, you have many ways. That's why it is called as M way search tree. So that M way search tree is a normal tree compared to binary search tree. And that MVS tree should be balanced one, uh, provided if the height of the tree is kept as low as possible. So that kind of tree is called as B tree. So a B tree of order in general, the word letter M stands for a B tree of order M should possess the following properties. What are the properties? What are the properties are the root node? So if, they, if you have a root node, the root node should to have at least two child nodes and at most m child nodes a root node should have at least two child nodes and at most m child nodes if you are saying that the tree is a m based tree then that root node has at least two child nodes and at most m child nodes the internal nodes have at least m by two child nodes so if you have an internal child node it should have at least m by two child nodes and at most m child nodes so at most means maximum at least means minimum, right? And and, if, and 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 more important point is point say point is all leaf nodes are on the same level. All leaf nodes are on the same level. So that's what B tree. So B tree is balanced MVSS tree. Uh, here the word balanced means that yeah, it is an MVSS tree whose height should be maintained as low as possible. And uh, if you you are saying that B tree is of order M. Uh, it should possess the following properties. So that properties is the major important one that you should consider while doing the operations like insertion, deletion, and searching, and so on. Right? The root has at least two child node and at most n child node. Let me say the example one by one. So this is a B tree of order five. So order five means that that is m equal to five. If the m equal to five means uh, what is it saying is uh, say for example, see see the last node. See the last node. How many ways are there? One, two, three, four, five. So I think uh, let me uh, say it with the help of a pen. See this is one. Uh, let me take a laser. So how many ways are there? Five ways are there for a five. node. One, two, three, four, five. So maximum five ways. Minimum it can be two. Minimum it can. Be. That's what it is said in that uh, rule. What is that rule? It is uh, said uh, the root has at least two child nodes. The root has at least two child nodes and it has at most M child. So root has at least two, two child nodes. Okay. One child node is red child node that is having 31 and 45. And right child node is having 54, 6, 64. See, for 48, the left pointer is uh, this one. The right pointer is this one. For 31, the left pointer is this one. Right pointer is this one. Uh, for 45, the right pointer of 31 is the left pointer. And then it goes up. I hope you understand the idea here. Is it understandable? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes. So this is the left side part and this is right side part. The right side part of the one node should be the left side part of the other. So for example, in this case, this particular location, this particular location is the right side part of the node 56. And that part should be the left side part of the 64. Left side part of the 64. That's what the idea is about. So B3 of order 5. 48, so left side 31, 45, right side 56, 64, 85. So this is the case. So in this uh, case, you have the tree uh, that is a complete tree. So due to the space uh, constraint, I have made this node at the uh, one more new level. Actually, it should be in the all in the same level. So how many levels are there? If you take root node as the zeroth level, this is level zero, this is at level one, and all these nodes are at level uh, two. Three. That means these are all leaf nodes 
இதெல்லாம் டீம் ப்ரோஸ் 10 18 21 36 40 42 46 47 these are all leaf notes searching so whenever you need to discuss about a tree data structure you need to discuss about three operations searching operation insertion operation deletion operation so searching operation is similar to mbs search tree see you didn't study about mbs search tree you may say that it is similar to binary search tree that means if it is left side you should go in the left if it is lesser than the particular value you should go in the left side if it is greater you should go in the uh, right side so that's what the idea is about searching similar to mbs search tree the number of accesses it depends on the height h of the bt the number of accesses depends on the height of it. so how many accesses you need to go so left side right side left side right side like, like that how many levels or how many heights you should go yes you should go depending on the height h the bit let me take the topic insertion so if you are saying that if m is the order of the tree and uh, uh, if you want to designate a node that node should be treated as a full node if it contains a minimum of m minus 1 data m minus 1 data if it is having that see for example this node is a full node why it is said as full node because the number of ways are 5 and how many data is sorry how many data it is having it is having four data right that is m minus 1 so if your node is if your tree is saying of order 5 if it is a full node then that full node having four data and a five address field so see, this is a, not a full node because it is not having a five address field if m equal to 5 then it should have a five address field provided if it is if you are saying that is a full node if it is not a full node it can have any other number of pointers but within five minimum two but within five that's the idea here so to insert let me check uh, the point let me read of the point to insert any node in the p tree if you want to insert any node in the p tree first check the suitable position by simple searching process first you have to check uh, whether this node will go is lesser than the root node if it is lesser you have to go in the left side if it is greater you have to go in the right side and in that uh, le level that is the first level you should check with the value so according to that value you should choose the direction and uh, you should go to a particular position for inserting the node in case uh, if you are finding a location and that location you find that uh, one is not a full node it's not a full node it has some uh, empty space available or some memory space is available then you can insert the node that is the idea here if it is not full or if it is whether it is full or not and so if it is not full then insert the node suppose if the node is full the node is full then what do you so if the node is full what you have to do is say for example mm, so this is the way field so i have a four way tree so all are null all are null so it is a five way tree but i have only four locations uh, this is one value and this is another value and this is another value say for example here it is one here it is a two here it is a three let's assume that now if you want to insert 2.5 if i want to insert 2.5 so where I have to insert 2.5 next to 2 to 2 and to before to 3. So before inserting the data point, I have to check whether the node is full or not. Here it is said that B3 of order 5. B3 of order 5 should have at least 5 address field. Like this, you should have 5 address field. You should have 5 address field like this. Right? But here you have only four address fields. Since it is only four address fields, one more location is possible or it is available free and you can insert the 2.5 into, into that location. So that's what you need to do. So you divide the node. If it is full node, what you have to do? You have to divide the node into two halves. So in the median, in the median, here it is not full, so you can easily insert. In case if it is full, you have to divide the node into two halves in the median and uh, uh, one level you have to push the up level and one level should be when pushing the level see in, in case if you are going to push the element in that case also if, if i pushing means you have to insert the element to the previous uh, top level let me explain this with an example then only again. see this is the tree given this is the tree. here i want to insert four and five right so this is the tree 86 96 116 left side right side left side right side left side right side and two four five six see i want to insert four five 4, 5, where I can insert, I have compared with the 86 here. So it is lesser than uh, 86. So it should come this side. It should come this side. Then it is comparing with the 2 and 7. 4 and 5 should be here. 2, 4, 5. 2, 4, 5. So it is inserted according to the situation is 2, 4, 5. Right? So this is the way you should insert the uh, elements. 
seconds. Now, if you want to insert the uh, element of 58, now if you want to insert the element 58, say for example, uh, before inserting 58, the node is like this. So 58 where you have to insert, 58 you have to insert uh, next to 55 and before the 86. So here you have to insert. But what is the situation here? The m equal to 5, that is the address field is 5, that is the node is full node. So what you have to do, you have to divide the node into two halves, right? Two halves and the mid element is 55 and that 55 is pushed upwards already. It is having a 86, 96 and 116. So 55 is inserted here. Here you have to check whether this node is full or not. Since it is not full, you have to place the 55 here as per the order, as per the order. Right? 55 yeah, we have placed here and you have to divide the, we have divided the uh, node into two half like this. So 37, 46, 58, 86. Right, that is 746. This already you have the value that is 746 and uh, 5886. 86. Now, what you have to insert? You have to insert the element is 6. So, where you can insert the element is 6. Uh, so, here you have to insert the element 6. If you ex insert the x, then it will uh, uh, overcome the idea of uh, that is, it will uh, uh, not follow the idea of the full node. So, what you have to do? You have to divide the node into two halves. So you have to move the medial element up by one half. So one half of, uh, of you, yeah, if it is under, so you see here also you have the full node. So you have to divide it into two and you have to divide the medial element to one side upwards. So I have moved 55 to the top side and I have placed the five in the left side of eight and this is the left side and this is the right side. Likewise, you keep on doing the same and uh, you have to find the position uh, where you have to insert the number six. So at that position you have to insert the value. So likewise, the deletion also. So deletion, you have three cases. Uh, when you are going to delete an element, you have to check whether the element or the node that is to be deleted is a leaf node or an intermediate node. So if it is a leaf node or intermediate node, then you have to check whether it contains more than the minimum number of elements. Say you have to check with the minimum number of elements. So you should have at least m by 2 child node like that we have a constraint. So if it is not uh, then immediately you delete the node. Likewise, what is the case three is telling if you are going to delete a node, that node seems to be a leaf node or an intermediate node, and it contains just the minimum number of elements. Just the minimum, it contains just the minimum number of elements. So that means uh, you, you cannot remove any further elements because the mandatory requirement is just the minimum. So in that case, what you can do, so you can either borrow like a subtraction uh, you did in the classroom, like a subtraction uh, in the class school level. You should borrow some node from either left side or right side. Uh, successor or predecessor and according to the BST property. What is the BST property? Left side less than right side greater than. According to the BST property, you have to choose the node and then you have to delete the node. That's what the case 2 is uh, all about. Leaf node, intermediate node. What about case 3? So case 3, if you are finding the leaf node, it does to contain the minimum number of elements. And there is no option for you to get an element, to borrow an element from the left side, right side, such as you know, just get it. So what you have to do, you have to create a new node and you have to, that new node should be filled with the uh, left, right and every value of the successor node and then you have to propagate. So in that case, what you are, what you are going to get is you are going to get a new node. You are going to get a new node with the left and right uh, intervening value. So that is the situation for deletion in a beat. Let me explain this. So this is a B3. Uh, of order 5. So how can you check uh, that uh, the order 5? Only this node is uh, fulfilling the norms of the order 5. That is a full node. Other way nodes are partial node. So what do you have to delete? You have to delete 95, 226, 221, 70. So if you want to delete 95, so where is 95 is there? So 95 is here. 95 is here. So if you want to delete 95 according to the condition here, see if it is a leaf node, internet, so left to what is, is, what is the eight node, so it is a leaf node. And it contains more than the minimum number of leaf node, minimum number of requirements. What? So if you can check here, you have you are the constraint. So minimum number, what is the requirement? Um, wait, wait, wait. Minimum node, what is the requirements? So the minimum, the, the child node has minimum m by 2 child nodes, right? Internal nodes are the leaf nodes. What it is, it is internal node, right? Thing, I think. So m by 2 child nodes. So it is minimum. So you, what you can do, you can easily delete the 95, no need to worry about it, right? 95. Hmm? 226. So, where is uh, 226 is there? So, 226 is there at uh, here. So, if you are deleting here, there are a question problem. So, here you cannot uh, borrow from uh, this side or this side or this side. You can borrow only from here. 
so what you can do after deleting this 226 you will uh, move 300 from here so what is that uh, this is the way right so 300 it goes upwards go up so after deleting the 221, 221. right next step, what is that case 3 what is the case 3 you are going to delete element 70 if you are deleting the element 70 and it is the, the loop leaf node and no need to borrow over any other element the iterative element and you should minimize minimum m by 2 elements so what you can do is you can create a, a new node either with a left or right or intermediate value and then you propagate the result according to the height reduction so if you move on the you will end up with the height reduction say for example let me look at this so we, we I have uh, moved the 70, 70 move on the one thing. I cannot left this 81 as a single small node. So what I can do is I can attach this single node 81 to here. So, you know, so here we have only two nodes. So I can attach this 81 to that side. And what you can do is uh, 90, 100 is as uh, usual as there. The 65, 86, uh, 65, 86, so 65 is the one which is going to be deleted. So after deleting that, uh, what is that? Uh, you can form a tree node with the Mm. Uh, the 86 upwards see for example see 110 is there 86 upwards so 110 120 see this is so, so how many levels before that one level two level three level three level and what is that so it is resulted in it results in the height reduction right so the height reduction is uh carried out accordingly the value is uh done right so this is what uh, that the incessant deletion and searching is carried out so i expect you to go through the condition carefully and go through this example and in the uh, examination, you have been called with some idea of uh, doing the uh, exercise. So I have three exercise, four experiments for you. Uh, you forget about MUS history, you directly go with the B tree. What I told you. What I told you. So you have to create a B tree and you have to ensure that whether that B tree contains minimum number of elements according to the uh, three conditions that is uh, discussed in the beginning. So according to that condition, you have to do your uh, task when the B tree is given, right? So I think uh, next is not required. So I am stopping the record for a while.